Now you've, uh, you've criticized educational approaches that emphasize facts but fail to reinforce critical thought. Exactly. Um, what effects do you think uh, an emphasis on facts without a critical process in education has on the quality of that person's education? Well, these are awesome questions. Um, so he, here's the problem with that. It's, it, it's not, it's, the problem is not giving somebody a critical thinking tool set. If it were just that simple, it's kind of like those solar flex ads, you know, the old but They show these unbelievably buff guys and they m want you to make the inference that it's the machine. If it's just so simple as giving everybody a machine, then everybody would look like that. Sure. But the problem is that people don't look like that, even people who have the machine. So they, it's the question is, a, it's a question of value. They don't value using the tools. You can give someone all the facts you want. Like, but that doesn't mean that they would act accordingly or change their beliefs or modify their cognitions. And it's vital that we create a, th it's not about faith or God or what have you, it's about creating a value, that we value reason, that, that we teach people how to understand that reason and rationality matter and that you can have a, a, a good life based upon that. We, we're all, our cognitive mechanisms, we have just built in our, in our brains, we ha we're just subject, and, and Shermer talks about this, we're just engines of belief and we're subject to so many faulty th ways of thinking or cognitive biases or cherry picking facts. So it's not a question of just handing someone facts. It's a, or even a question of handing someone a skill set. It's that they have to value using that skill set. Yeah, and um, what, what do you think the end value is in that? Like, what do you think is the inherent value? A better life, a better community, honest relationships, being true to yourself, living by your own lights. Um, I mean, I, th I think it, 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 there's, there's, it, it's, it hits, there's nothing it doesn't hit. Well, you, you know, I mean, when you, when you it, I think it, a, a lot of it comes down to my talk, which was about authenticity, and it's being true to yourself, being true to others. When, when we hang out, I don't want to figure out what you mean. True. I want you to say what you mean. And I want you, to, and now if you, if you don't like what I mean, we can have a discussion about that, and maybe we decide that we don't like what each other means, and we don't hang out with each other anymore. Sure. But the only way for us to have a genuine relationship is if we're authentic and we all say what we mean. I, I happen to agree 100% with that. Honesty is, is yeah. um, aside from truth, maybe yeah. one of the uh, more important values. Yeah, and the, to bring it back to the Socratic method, the Socratic method allows you to, um, it makes a virtue of revising your beliefs. So if when I impose it upon myself, if I had one belief and then I change my belief or we're talking and you have, oh wow, I never thought about that, that was a great example, then I can, then, then I could buy you a round of drinks because you, you are dinner, what have you, because you disabused me of an idea that I thought was false. You, you helped me shed a false idea of reality and, and that's good. We need, to, we need to value that, but the way to, you, you don't get to a value from a fact in, that, in, that, in this context. Sure. Like you don't just give someone facts and have them say, ah, well, geez, you know. Yeah. So a lot of people, they've lived their life, they've just habituated to not believing on the basis of evidence. They, so yeah, and, and I guess we, we need to teach the value in evidence before we can start yeah. giving them facts yeah. about it. Reason and rationality and why that's important and how you can have genuine relationships with people, how you can make a better life, how you can make your community better. And that's not, I mean you need facts to do that, but if someone doesn't start from the point that facts ought to inform their judgments, or they just cherry pick, well then you have a very serious problem because then you have a lot of people on juries, voting, et cetera, it, participating in these democratic processes that are run counter to their own interests. Yeah. Well, Peter, I really appreciate you coming oh, by thanks. and uh, we, we hope to have you on again. Thanks, I appreciate that. Thanks, Joel. Mm -hmm. My new book is A Manual for Creating Atheists from Pitchstone Press and it will teach you how to talk people out of faith and into reason and rationality.